Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Petrosian and if in the first video we mentioned well the depth of his positional play how impossible it was to beat him I mean well I'll just give two statistics super quickly playing in the Olympiads and European Championships 181 games with one loss I mean this is unimaginable playing winning four Soviet Union Championship with only two losses. Okay, and say that we have we have looked at Petrosian and a lot of his exchange sacrifice, uh, exchange sacrifice for pressure, for squares, for some initiative. You name it. Today, I want to look at some other, few other great games by Petrosian. Uh, I've really added, I believe, twenty games that I honestly feel are amazing one in the PGN. So I'm you know, urging you, if you like, if you have energy to go and see those games, they include positional play, tactical play, you name it, you name it. Let's start, you know, I, I chose just five examples from, uh, from uh, those 20 games, the rest up to you. Game against Unzinker, one of the strongest players in the world uh, from uh, Germany at that time, I would say East Germany, one of the strongest players, I mean, he wasn't really a world champion contender at any point, but very top in the world, 10, 20 for many years. This is a famous game, and without much talking, let's start and see. Okay, so we started with some Torre attack, you know, Bishop G5 early, and we're actually basically transposing into, well, I would say Queen's Gambit declined, right? Okay. I want to go quite quickly to. Oh, by the way, pawn take would be much more in the spirit of the, of that system. Okay, a4, normal, normal idea, right? I mean, those pawns need to be need to come under attack quite quickly. Well, for example, after take, okay, white get this square. The a6 pawn is much much weaker than the b2 pawn. Nothing to compare. So this is. One idea, I mean, well, taking with the rook may be also possible, and if something like this, okay, this also seems legal. So b4, okay, now the knight is going to b3. That is all common and normal. And, okay, pretty great, I would say, for white. I, I, I want to touch a very specific point in the game, so that's why don't tell me I'm lazy and analyzing too fast. Well, maybe I am, but I, I we have many games to see. But this is really awesome for white. A5 is weak, the file. Okay, Petrosian doesn't want to allow, doesn't want to allow the um, knight to get to C4. I would think that a move like knight D2 is possible, but you, when you look at this with the computer, well, computer thinks bishop take d6 is a great move. And rook c6, okay. Computer is more in favor in queen b5, but doesn't really matter. Okay, he get the file. The queen gets to be on this b5 huge square. Okay, let's look at this position. There are no doubts that white is, mm, I would say, much better here. But how to break through, how to win the game is not yet clear. We control the open file, well, white control the open file. What to do? And here it is an amazing idea that we soon will see. Idea that kept repeating itself in Petrosian games. Look at that. What is this king f1? Okay, black is tied to defending a5. What do we do in this situation? Well, we know we should try and open another front. Try and open another front. But how? Look at Petrosian. Can you believe that? Black cannot move. 